So welcome everybody to another review as read. Today we will be reviewing Battles of Ancient China by Chris Pears. This book is a broad overview of the military of ancient China till the Qing Dynasty. So we will talk about the pros, cons and the conclusion. Let's get into it. The first pro of the book is that the book focuses on less known battles than the standard. For example, most English books would refer to battles of the more popular Three Kingdoms period. But this book also has more battles that are of importance to Chinese history, such as those of the Qin Empire or Mu Yue or the Shang Dynasty. Also, this book has good details which I felt at the end of reading that I learned something new on the military of ancient China. And sometimes even stuff not of the military, such as how there is so little written about vast campaigns that are of great importance to ancient Chinese people, such as the campaigns that took care of the Xiongnu during the Han Dynasty. And the reason why, because the Chinese were Confucians, and that made them kind of hesitant to embrace the military. And for them, as bureaucrats, the only things about the military that was worth writing about were things that needed to be improved. Thus, a battle that is nothing more than a skirmish that went wrong would be recorded in some cases more than the vast campaign that saw their borders on the north safe. This book is also a good show on how China's history is linked so much with their northern neighbors and this book is as much a history of them as much as that of the Chinese. Like often, the military arm or leadership of dynasties, especially in the north, is quote-unquote barbarian. Like how the Qin Dynasty had their capital in modern-day Beijing to be closer to their old homeland. As for the cons, the biggest one for me, but might not be for you, is the use of the older Wao Zhao system of translating Chinese to English instead of using the Han Yiping, which in Singapore I learned. Thus the Zhou Dynasty, which for me will be spelled with a Z, is spelled with a C in this book. And with how similar Chinese words can sound, it made it very difficult for me to follow who was who unless I recognized the particular event. Second, there is a massive lack of maps and illustrations in this book, which makes the constantly changing borders and events hard to follow in some cases. Like the borders of the Song Dynasty is a great example. Lastly, this is minor, but even though the book says it is a focus on 10 battles, I feel that is more for marketing, as although there are 10 battles, I feel the focus is more on the overall military history instead of massive details on these 10 battles. Which of course did not bother me, I still like the history nonetheless, but might for you, because if you are reading particularly for just 10 battles, and great massive details on just the 10 battles, you're gonna be disappointed. In fact, if you look at the table of contents, not many of the chapters are actually named by battles even. In conclusion, I enjoyed this book and find there is a lot of good things to learn on the topic that is not as easily found in English literature on ancient Chinese military history. It has its flaws that makes the learning harder, but overall, I recommend it if you like this topic. So if you like content like this, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.